um, the solution has to be there. We gotta stay hopeful and we gotta stay, uh, find creative ideas. And today we're in Emis uh, for the Leon Chani Resolution Center, referring to peace talking. And uh, today joined uh, is Dr. Sapir Heidelman. So what is the main goal of these peace talks? We have here a very sophisticated simulation. On one room, we have simulation of Israeli-Palestinian public negotiating Congress, like the people. In another room, we have unconventional mode of diplomacy, which called track to diplomacy. Whenever the Congress uh, face major problems, the diplomatic modes they are discussing with the experts and coming with solutions to suggest them and to help them to go forward. Without having set borders, you can't define it as a nation. It doesn't make sense having still checkpoints within each country. That's why we're going to use the checkpoints within the West Bank as part of the solution now. But as part of the clause, currently, we're just stating and uh, like facing the checkpoint between West Bank and Israel, that checkpoint there. Yeah. 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 We agree that the neck will be in the old city. No checkpoints. No checkpoints. <laughs> also, we're going to be establishing the NEC right in there where it's a neutral base ground, basically, in the old city. Uh, also, removing all Israeli checkpoints that are inside the West Bank within areas A and B. been a very long uh, discussions. Uh, as an Israeli, uh, you were representing Israeli in uh, track one debate, and I was representing Palestinian side. Um, you saw that the debate took long, and it got some quite emotional from both sides. How are you feeling now at this current state? OK, so I can tell you that before, um, when it got very emotional and we started talking about about prisoners and about like sharing resources and stuff, I, I felt bad, I got emotional because it's, it's my country. I just can't convince the other side that they're wrong because the other side, they're also Palestinians that feel exactly the same way as I do. And I understand them, but I just think that for some, for some questions there are no answers. How do you feel as international? For me as international, um, I tried my best uh, to be unbiased in the situation. Um, I try to basically look at the facts, um, that's, you know, the statistics, you know, check the statistics, like boom, boom, all the correct things. But um, at the same time, it's not a compromise when one side is losing. So that's when I, was I started to think as an Israeli, like what I would do if I was an Israeli or how I was feeling to try and understand your state of being at that moment. Um, the solution, has to be there. We gotta stay hopeful and we gotta stay, uh, find creative ideas. This is why I'm, I'm quite happy to be part of this simulation as an international trying to understand the topic and with both sides trying to interact, 20% Palestinians, 20% Israelis, 60% uh, internationals. We, we literally have nothing to lose and um, I feel that time is the, the only pressure that we have. But it's been like more than eight, seventy years since, since Israel, True. and uh, since then we have this conflict. And I didn't hear about a lot of conflicts which took t seventy years. I am optimist, uh, not in the short run. Yes, yes, it's been like uh, seventy-five years or so. However, institutions like the Eastern Mediterranean International School, just been what four, five years. The 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 main image of the school is to use education as a source of sustainability uh, within the Middle East and peace. And if more institutions like this start spreading throughout Israel and throughout Palestine on both sides, non-biased, and start reforming the education system to a better, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty solid that this will be achieved and will benefit both sides. What I took from yesterday's peace talk was that a winner doesn't necessarily mean the other side lose. Both sides could win in order to make you a winner. 
peace means taking into account the dignity of other people and the fact that there are other people who have certain rights.